Hi, it's David Ludwig, and I'm back again to introduce a piece, but not just a piece, but my own piece, Pale Blue Dot, that is connected to Beethoven because it quotes from the Opus 130 movement, the Cavatina movement, which was supposedly the only music that Beethoven ever wrote that made him himself weep. The piece was commissioned uh, for the Dover Quartet by the Caramore International Music Festival, and I was inspired to write it by the Voyager space probe. Uh, the probe turned around as it was leaving the solar system uh, on the urging of the great astronomer Carl Sagan and took a picture of the planets. And in the corner, um, as Sagan writes very beautifully about, is the Earth, this half blue pixel, this pale blue dot on the photo. What I imagined was the Voyager going through space and time for tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of years before it's discovered by uh, some intelligent race of aliens, um, no doubt gigantic praying mantises. I grew up with too much sci-fi as a kid. You hear them chatter with each other, and then you hear them try to open the Voyager. And the reason is because inside of it is this uh, miraculous golden record, which the, the people who put the Voyager together, the scientists, uh, arranged what they thought was the greatest testament to human culture and, and um, instructions for, for how to find the Earth. And so in my narrative, in my story, the, the aliens find this, they eventually push play and they hear the cavatina warped through the space and time of, of perhaps millions of years. Um, after hearing the record skip and hearing the music, they send it back on its way. And the last thing you hear is the very lonely data stream of the Voyager trying to communicate still with Earth long after humanity is gone. And so uh, I would like to thank the uh, extraordinary Dover Quartet and thank you for tuning in to Curtis Is Here. I hope you enjoy it.